Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So ever since we've been looking at a number of different ships from the Steam Workshops, I keep getting submissions of different little bits and ships to have a look at myself, and I have to say, every time I bump into a really cool one, I just have to give you a little bit of a tour of it and just show you how cool this is. Now this is Hammerman's Mark to Corvette from the Steam Workshop. I'll give you a link in the description if you want to have a look at it yourself. But this thing is quite beautiful. It's got docking ports pretty much all over and the firepower package on this thing is really immense. So you've got docking ports here at the front as well as the merge blocks. What's been done that's pretty cool is this the cockpit up here is detachable so it looks like it can be detached and replaced into a numerous location. So you've got the front, back and sides and we've also got an interior but I'm just going to show you a little bit closer on some of the detailing areas here so we've got like these vented areas that is created out of using these thin armor strips it just looks really cool it really gives you some really inspiring ideas for your own ship and I think this is one of the great reasons why I do these tours as well because they just really help inspire my own designs and a lot of yours from what the feedback that we've been getting and using some of these mods to make your ship look so much better is just amazing I mean we really need to have a look and just have a look at these beautiful different so we've got the sage thrusters here definitely we've got the lighting that i've just added that extra sort of blue tint just really creative use of that lighting and the different sources that have of it so we've got the different sorts of thruster types as well here at the back to add a little bit of variation in that sort of feature so let's actually have a look inside so as we drop down onto the landing deck, you'll notice that we've got a small rear sort of Gatling turret at the back to defend the ship maybe as you're boarding loading cargo on or something of that aspect so we have this button here that actually raises the ramp and seals it up, but we don't want to go inside. So let's actually disable that and go back. Now, what really is quite cool about this ship is it's been prepared for pressurization and air. Now, currently, there is no air in small ships, and that's really upsetting because if you're like me and you like to build your small ships large, then you want to be able to get this sort of environment pressurized. So you can see with the hood on, we've got no oxygen level, and even when these doors are sealed, it's going to be sealed up. And I've done everything I can to try to oxygenate the interior of a smaller ship but it just doesn't seem to happen so with the doors closed you can access the high voltage danger power area we've got a little bit of a cargo and we've got one of another one of the oxygen generators that's stored there we've got some lockers for our cargo as well as a small first aid station so let's actually go to one of the combat bays in here now this ship seems very heavily orientated around battling and this seems to be one of the main sort of battle armaments areas so we'll actually equip into here and we've got this inner sort of working cockpit maybe where the pilot's sitting up on the top or you even just using that as an escape pod you could use these to pilot the ship down here he's added some timer blocks for a little bit of variation in there and we've got summary of both the reactor output and the ammunition in the weapon systems as well as an xyz axis on the grid so obviously you could add a number of different things to this hood to make it a little bit more complicated and give different readouts if you wished we've got oxygen storage on 89 percent so very cool indeed very nice little details so now let's move into the living quarters so to the left of the main control deck, we have the living quarters that are a quite nice little relaxed area. We've got a secondary cockpit here. Maybe it could be used to access one of the turrets. We've also got a camera set up there. And we have one of the sort of cabin relaxation areas. You can take a seat, take a load off. You've got some nice little drawers there, something there. There's no bedding in this ship, so I'm, I'm guessing that it's not going to be a super long range sort of transport craft but something that's more of a short distance we've got computers set up there with some buttons maybe get some displays on that make it really cool now if we hop into here you can see we've also got one of them radar dishes there on top just it's just so cool the use of different colors of the blocks and the armor is just really inspiring for different sorts of creation so let's go up to the cockpit on top we'll have to disengage this first and then actually lower it out so we're losing the pressurized seal this is this is quite a good idea itself how they've got the pressurized seal and they've got that landing ramp so you combine in the both the best of both worlds really so let's hop into that upper cockpit and see exactly what we can do weapons wise so now we're in we can actually use the timer block so if we hit the timer block on one you'll notice that the weapons come out the side red light activates weapons come out the top so you've got a whole variety of weapon systems available and if it's it again you can see that they fold back away so you can turn this into more of a civilian-esque ship now if we go through some of the weapons we've got rockets we have got gatling guns just look at this sort of mess it makes in front of the ship Oh, we've got the scatter cannons. Combining these together though with the scatter cannons, it just makes so much damage and carnage. And this ship handles pretty well when I take it off in a minute. You've got some rapid fire sort of cannons coming out the front there. Some more like auto cannon designs. Then if we go on to a six, we've got some more lasers on the outer flanks. So you could also retract these in and only use the laser weaponry or different sorts of weaponry that you actually need. So let's actually try taking this thing off. Now, I believe the landing gears are not actually added into these menus. 
so we don't have to quickly add them into our cells because I think you're supposed to pilot it maybe from the inside. So landing gear pistons, let's add that. Add that to reverse and landing gears. We put switch lock on them. So we're going to disengage our landing gears. So number eight. Now the next thing we need to do is retract them up. And we can do that. Now the biggest problem is getting the lift up because we don't want to take off like that. So we'll actually have to find out where the lift is in the groups options. So let's have a quick look here. And I don't think it'll be in here. I think it's going to be in one of the timer set blocks. So let's have a look for that. So we've got timer, timer block, um, da -da -da, on no repeater, war, mo war mode. That sounds quite interesting. Ramp button, that's what we want. Okay, so we want to start that. So let's hit nine on that. See exactly what we get. Yeah, sealed up. Everything's locked away in place. And we can actually begin the takeoff procedure. So we can actually bring this up. Now, the power of this thing and the agility of it are actually quite interesting. So you can see yeah, it's got a lock down in place before the banging takes over. So now everything's locked down and in place. The door's locked at the back, so it's not going to be banging around. And we can do some really nice agile sort of banking. We've also got access to all the weapon systems. Now, what I was surprised about this ship is it's probably due to the updates on it and so on that you can actually pop out these weapons on the move and not have too much issue with the actual pistons or rotors. So you can see we've just launched the missiles out and if we bring it back around towards the pad maybe, if I can see the pad, we can actually maybe engage the pad with some weapons itself. So we'll bring that back up there. It's very fast this ship due to the amount of sage thrusters that are actually in it. So we can actually fire some missile pods, streak out the side, beautiful. And we'll engage it with some smaller arms. Oh look at that, you can see him just coming out the side there. Wow oh, that's so, that is, that is brutal. Let's actually try something else. That's a scatter. We have to bank up quickly, I think, so we don't hit the actual platform itself. No, just a really cool creation. I'm going to have a link down for this below. And I'd just love to see these small ships gone large, especially when they're adding detailed interiors like this one. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.